Hi and welcome back to another video on this Thursday. It's actually quite warm here. You can see also Sheik is uh, yeah, running out of battery, I guess. And uh, yeah, we will use this day to talk about the Corsair Link products, even though we already featured this during our Computex visit in Taipei a few weeks ago. But it's also a bit different looking at something during an exhibition than like looking at this in person here and like also knowing the price, you know, because the QX120 RGB fan is $50, a single fan. So that's something we have to talk about. Sorry, Stieg. Have to steal that stuff from you. We will start looking at the QX120 RGB starter kit for IQ Link. And this is listed for $160. So let's see what's inside, what you can get for such amount of money. In here we have the three 120mm fans already connected over the Corsair Link system without the cables. And then we find the IQ Link system hub. That is kind of similar to the previous Corsair products, uh, apart from that you don't need as many cables anymore. You have the one single cable to connect to the fans. And in here in this box we have the other additional cables that are required to connect the link system hub to your system. That's basically the entire magic. That's the link system hub where you attach the USB connector for like the internal system communication, attach it to your mainboard USB 2.0. Then we have a six pin PCIe that goes to your PSU. First I was thinking why is there even an additional cable for that? But if we inspect this from the side, it kind of makes sense because I think adding a six pin connector on here would just make it quite a bit larger in size and it might be more convenient to just have this cable on here and then depending on the location in your system might be more convenient to have this additional cable for the power supply. And then we have the Corsair Link cable that ex exits from here and it's kind of, as I said before, prior in the Computex video, kind of like a big USB Type-C connector, at least like from the, from the outer shape. And that's rated for a quite high current. Then it goes into either of the sides of the fan array. Then obviously you can arrange it in any kind of like orientation. Also disconnect this if you would want to go, let's say for a two plus one configuration or whatever. And then you can also attach a second cable to the side and then also extend this further. Now in the end, I have to go back to the price point because like, honestly, I mean, I did a poll on my YouTube channel and just from right now, about 3000 people voted, which is kind of representative, I would say. And over 90% said that's way too expensive and I'm not going to buy that. Only 3% said that the price is acceptable and that they would buy it. Among 3000 people, that's about 90 potential buyers, which is still something, I guess, but it's not a big amount of buyers. And I mean, if you consider that just the, the like triple fan kit alone is $160 and then for a nowadays system, depending on your configuration, you usually have at least six fans. Might be that you would go for an IQ Link AIO, which we are also going to check out in a second, which is also extremely expensive. Then you easily end up spending at least $300 to $400 just on fans for a system. That's pretty insane. The only advantage I see here is that everything Corsair does is quite advanced and honestly speaking also better than what the rest of the people are doing right now. That's mainly because IQ, even though IQ also has its issues, it's not as bad as the other softwares. I mean it's not perfect, don't get me wrong, but it's not as bad. So they have that and obviously you have the entire Corsair like environment with your keyboard and mouse and I don't know the pump RGB pump reservoir combination that's what I wanted to say and so there's that but that the pricing of the link stuff is much more expensive than I expected and just build quality wise this is like top notch but I also want to point out that I cannot give a good statement on the actual performance of the fan because that's also something that matters. Noise level and also the like the cooling capability that the fan might have or not. That's definitely something. 
I cannot test right now. So that would be something that Steve maybe can test with his uh, fan test system. But yeah, apart from that, technically definitely interesting because it also comes with temperature sensors built in. So that's also a bit more advanced than what the others usually have. Yeah, but let's move over to the AIO and also I think take a fan apart. Let's check what we're actually paying for because there are screws on the side on this fan so we can actually take it apart and take a look inside. So as you can clearly see, definitely the QX fans are nothing. You can just buy on AliExpress and get it pre-made. There is a lot of development that goes into this, a lot of different injection molded parts that definitely add up to the cost. So we have this RGB ring that's an, like a piece of plastic that easily allows to diffuse the RGB light. We have all the RGB LEDs sitting around this ring and over this tiny piece right here, it is forming the connection to the main part, which is this one that has PCBs going around and that's also adding up to the cost because on the normal fan you have wires going to the fan and here you have multiple like, I'm not sure if it's individual PCBs or if it's like one big one. I didn't take it apart further than this one, but that's obviously this part right here to form the connection to the RGB ring and these parts here are to form either the connection with the cable and then also connect to other fans. If we turn it around, that's the area where we can find the temperature sensor, which I personally think is a great feature to have. And yeah, I mean, that's cool because you can monitor the intake or outtake temperature of your system. And that's the counterpart that also has the magnets sitting in here to align and keep the fans together. And here we have the $290 expensive H150i IQ RGB AIO. One thing I have to add is that it came out of the box like this, so I did not have to assemble anything. I'm not quite sure if that's always the state like that or if it's because this is a sample. If it's always the case, definitely appreciate that because it saves you all the hassle from putting the fans on. Here in the back we have the IQ link connection for the AIO. And then depending on your configuration, you could also extend this further, just attached to this fan. You could hook up up to another four devices. Because again, if we use the system hub on each side, we can connect up to seven devices. So 14 in total, which should be sufficient for, I would say 99% of the systems, depending on what kind of like configuration you have, but up to 14 devices should definitely do the trick. The only thing that might not work, for example, if, is if you use an external Mora, like one of those huge radiators that require nine times 120 millimeter fans that wouldn't work because the max out of one connection would be seven fans. And that's how it would look like in operation. So it's very simple, very straightforward to put just a pump head on and then you connect one cable to the like basically AIO unit. So it's transferring everything to the pump head, supplying power and then also RGB control. And then you have to loop the second cable into the RGB fans and then from there you could also extend the connection further. So like from a technical standpoint, that is a very easy and convenient solution to use it. So the thing is again, also with this one, with this uh, 360 AIO, it's again the price. And I'm kind of sorry that I'm like continuing to talk about the price point, but because I'm honestly personal, I'm a guy who's willing to spend quite a lot of money on things that are like on a very technical, like good level. I'm definitely not cheaping out on things, but even for me, I think this is expensive. And then just let me know what you think, because it's like my opinion right now, yours might be different, but maybe you're also, yeah, in line with me. That would be interesting. So just for example, this one, right? The 290 Euro AIO, the 361 with Corsair Link. It's also interesting that for the same price, you can also get the Corsair IQ Elite H150i. So it's also a 360 AIO, but with LCD. And then you might have to consider for the same price, you get the LCD version, which might be more appealing. On the other hand, it, it's just more hassle to assemble. Like this system is very convenient when it comes to assembly because it's just this one connection. But how often are you building your system? Maybe once, maybe changing something after a year or so, I'm not quite sure, but it might be worth to just spend the 30 minutes or maybe one hour more 
and deal with the annoying cable management and then getting better components instead of buying this. That's just my honest opinion about this. And also, for example, with about $300, we are also entering the region of custom water cooling. That's also something you have to keep in mind. If you get a DDC pump with a cheap reservoir, like an Alpha Cool 1, an Alpha Cool Radiator 3, maybe Arctic P12 fans, then you can easily, for about 300 euro, also step into custom water cooling. And then if you spend another 50 or maybe $100 more, so for $400, you can get very decent custom water cooling for your CPU and the temperatures will definitely be better than with an AIO. Even though the like surface area of the radiator is kind of similar, just the pump speed alone, the different, um, yeah, the different block will give you a benefit in cooling might just not look as good and not be as convenient. But then again, also custom water cooling, you, you can later extend with another radiator and then also loop in your GPU, for example. So there are also benefits than just looking into custom water cooling when we are reaching this point, like this price point with these components. Yeah, that's basically IQ Link. It's from a technical perspective, amazing. They did an impressive work in my opinion also like rolling this out on the entire lineup takes a huge amount of work development work production work they have a lot of respect from my side for doing this because like going through all those components and just making sure that all of this works together and that's where iq is definitely a good thing i have a lot of respect for corsair doing all of this stuff but the price is insanely high so much about Corsair Link, let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in, see you next time. Bye bye.